here in the northern hemisphere it's getting really cold and the snow is really piling up so it can be hard to get outside and shoot pictures sometimes especially when you can just sit inside by the nice fire but here are some hacks to get some cool shots and these hacks will hopefully make it a bit more bearable to shoot outside for this first one all you're going to need is a gallon freezer bag all you got to do is put your camera in it and zip it right around the lens you want to make sure that it's a snug fit right by the glass. This will make it so you don't get any snow and water and ruin your expensive camera, especially since cameras are getting so dang expensive these days. You can see I just pull it taut and it seals it pretty well, even though most bodies are sealed these days, but it should help anyway. These also work with tripods, at least this archetype that I tried. So you can see here, it just keeps out the snow pretty nicely. And it's also super cheap, basically free, because most people... Have you ever been out and just trying to focus the camera, but you just can't get a grip on the lens? You can use these rubber bands and wrap them around the focus ring. You could also do this on the zoom ring, but the focus ring is a bit smaller and is a bit harder to get a grip on. So just grab a bunch off the ball and wrap them around the ring. You can also coil them up to make them a bit wider. This will give you a bit better grip, especially if you have gloves on, which you really need gloves shooting outside when it's cold as balls. I like to use a bunch of different colors to make it look kind of cool. Even though it looks kind of ugly, it's super functional and will definitely help you focus the camera. The gloves help to focus it because they get a nice grip on the rubber and I can just take nice pictures. For this next one, I'm going to show you a little tip to make it easier to press the buttons. You can buy these things called bump ons on Amazon for pretty much nothing. I mean, they're dirt cheap. You can get about a hundred for like five bucks or something stupid. You can also get them in different colors but I don't want to buy some, so I'm going to use command strips. They're these little things that you hang hooks with, but you can just use them for this. So you're just going to stick any kind of rubber knob or anything similar to that to the command strip, and then you're just going to cut it out. Make sure to be careful with this one. You can see it'll just tear off after you cut it. Yeah, definitely make sure to be careful because you can see I cut myself. <laughs> but back to the video, just keep cutting it until you get it as fine as you want. You can pretty much make it a circle and you won't see any of the white, but this is good enough for me. Now you're just going to peel off the backside. That'll say wall side on it. I use tweezers to make it a little bit easier to get the backing off. Once you have it peeled off, you just stick it onto whichever button you want. I'm going to stick it onto the shoot button. It would also help with the OK button, as you can see there. But see, the button still functions perfectly, and it just gives you a much bigger button to press. So now you can see, you can press it just fine, and it works perfectly. So that, those are all the hacks for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and let me know what you want to see next.